to eliminate the parameter here, we've got some trig functions. And so um, we'd like to just find a relationship between the two. And um, that's easily done with trig identities. We're dealing with sine and cosine here. So of course, the uh, classic identity is the Pythagorean identity, sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. And now we just replace these with um, uh, with the variables that we have. So sine squared, that's just going to be x squared. So you have x squared plus cosine squared, that's just y. Uh, and then, of course, equals 1. So this is a Cartesian equation. Uh, we do need to be careful, however, because there are some restrictions that are built into um, uh, to the parametric equations. Notice y is equal to a cosine squared of t, meaning y uh, has to be greater than or equal to 0. It also has to be less than 1. So we can say y must be between 0 and 1. Of course, x is the sine of t, so that's always between negative 1 and 1. And so that's the a restriction here that we have. Uh, really, either one that we uh, pick will uh, will suffice because it will force the other in this equation. So for our Cartesian equation, I'm going to say let y uh, be 1 minus x squared. And we're going to place the restriction on x to be between negative 1 and 1. And notice now, any value between negative 1 and 1, if you take 1 minus that squared, y will be um, between 0 and 1. And so there's our Cartesian equation.